Dark Mist. driving out to get my hair cut. It's so early. It's so early I wasn't able to do my intro. So I will talk to you later. time to record this morning because I had to get on the road to get my hair done. Um, 
Yeah, really quickly. So after I opened the Advents, I was just like, okay, I don't have time to do a video. <laughs> Even though I was going to jump on and say, this is going to be very quick. I just want to tell you quick, quick, whatever. So yeah, so now I can tell you I'm back from the hairdresser. I have had lunch and uh, now I have the afternoon ahead of me. I'm going to try to record a full episode um, of my regular channel. So <clears throat> it's so foggy out right now. So I showed you images earlier, some video earlier of my drive and the morning and stuff, but it, I think it's gotten foggier here than it was um, over uh, even this morning. I think that... Um, I think we're getting snow on Monday and this is Saturday December 12th I just wanted to go through uh, with you too about the yarn I got yesterday so this was a deliberate purchase this was the um, Clinton Hill cashmere bulky and I bought it to make a project that I already have finished <laughs> and that is this um, headband so I, I made it for my assistant at work so she has big beautiful hair and I wanted to make her a hat and I was like I don't think she wears hats but this she can wear like around this part of her head to cover her ears or you know even that way to cover her ears so this is a free pattern from Clinton Hill with purchase free with purchase they had a bunch of patterns for their their bulky um, and I have a I think about half a skein left. I could probably make a second one. I don't know. I have to go weigh it. So I'll see. I may do that with this. All right. So that's, I got that for that. And then I bought um, from a different, from the knitting room, they were having a sale on their yarns. So I bought some loopy mango and Christmas colors to create a stocking for my granddaughter. So I have two stocking patterns. I don't know if any of you, if you watched yesterday's, you saw the stockings. There are some stocking pattern like layouts that I have not written into a pattern. I just, I made two different ones and then I had plans to make a third one, but I just never got around to it. So uh, someday I might do those. Uh, for now though, I'm going to take my own knit pattern and go back through and, um, knit out of the loopy mango yarn I'm actually going to use this color for the main color and then the then probably red with maybe some green highlights I have a gold um, thread yarn that I could incorporate with the contrast colors so I may do that uh, with with that I might might be red and gold but I also was realizing that if this isn't enough for another headband, this could be pretty too for heels and cuffs. Not heel, not cuff, but contrast pattern and um, the toe. I can't even remember. I have to go look at the pattern. I think this was just the contrast color. I think the heel and toes are all the main color. So believe it or not, this yardage is the same as this. This is in a different form because this is hand dyed and these are uh, commercial dyed. So this is like really pretty, beautiful tonal, like sort of a rose pink tonal. So I have two skeins of these. It should be enough according to my pattern <laughs> and according to what I used a different bulky yarn to knit those. Um, so I'm probably going to go a little bit bigger because this is a little bit thinner than the yarn that I use to uh, design those patterns. Yeah, so this is my the very special project I was talking about. I told my son that uh, I was making a stocking for, for his daughter, for my granddaughter, and that next year I would try to do his, um, he and his wife uh, stocking following along the similar lines um so i'm going to see how it all goes and if i have time i might be able to squeeze out another one i just don't think i have enough yarn because i think i need two skeins for the main color so that is what's going on there and then i also purchased when i did bought clinton hill she was having a sale um i also purchased 
these two skeins of DK, again with this idea that I have some cashmere and DK in my advent, one of my advent calendars, and this would give me some more options in terms of projects. So now I have these two, as well as a gray, like sort of a nice medium gray um, full skein. So we'll see. We'll see what, what um, they end up being. I actually was planning originally, before I thought that these could be part of a big project, I was planning to make a hat out of this. Um, with the Clinton Hill, actually with the Clinton Hill worsted, you can get two hats out of one ball of their um, yarn. So, cause they're, th this, the um, DK is 125 yards and I think the, yeah, that's right, 125 yards. I think the worsted is about 110 yards or maybe nine, I think it's 99 yards actually. Um, so you have enough to do two hats. And I picked up the sand, the sand color, which I had used in my uh, New York Laneway sweater. I picked up sand because Becky, the owner of Clinton Hill, said that this was her her favorite combination with the yellow. So the yellow is called YOLO, uh, You Only Live Once uh, yellow, and it's pretty neon -y. It's not showing off, off as neon -y as it is. So I was like, well, maybe I want to do some hats and I'll be able to combo these up, but I deliberately bought DK instead of worsted. So not sure what these will end up being yet. We'll see. So that is my, those were my just explanation of my purchases yesterday. Hopefully you saw my um, hanging of the stockings. That's always really fun. My niece is in charge, clearly, on the whole stocking hanging thing. <laughs> what we've done since the kids were young is, and when my sons were still living here, we, um, let the youngest pick their stocking first and then when we go up in in reverse age order to let the youngest the next youngest and the next youngest pick but now that my sons are out of the house we we just um pick for them so she she does all the picking for everyone now because everyone else is just like whatever <laughs> whatever whatever so yeah i'm actually i'm looking forward to knitting the the stocking because I have not made them since I made that those original ones and I, I'm like a little nervous that I'm going to find a bunch of errors in the pattern but if so I can send it out to everyone I can send corrections out to everyone who has purchased um, the pattern so that's probably my best selling pattern I've sold I don't know I would say about a couple hundred patterns um, in that of those stockings and no one has ever told me that there's a mistake in the pattern. And also, to my knowledge, no one has made a project page. <laughs> so I don't know if people just knit it and don't do project pages. I think a lot of people don't do project pages. My guess is that fewer than 20% actually of users on Ravelry actually make project pages. <laughs> That's my best guess. Just based on my own experience, like people like knowing that I'm selling, even though I'm selling in a very, very much smaller scale than Andrea Stephen or Hohe, it just seems like, um, you know, not that many people. I have far more sales than I have project pages. So don't judge a designer by the number of project pages they have. Just, just saying. Yeah, so but I have definitely gotten better as a project as a as a pattern writer um, from when I first published the Christmas stockings, which was I think it, they came out about four years ago. The first one came out four years ago, and the second one three years ago. And then my plan was to re release the next one the following year, but I just never did. Um, all right, I'm gonna go and go. Uh, I'm gonna actually relax for a little bit. Cause I feel like I've been running around all morning and I'm going to just watch a show, watch a, watch like an hour of either vlogmas or shows or something and just sit in it for a little bit. And then I'm going to record my episode, but I'll show you, I'll show you everything.
just know that it's like one in the afternoon right now and it's so dark outside. It's really kind of crazy. Okay, I'll see you later.